All right, guys. Well, the company I work for is Healthy Home. Have you ever heard of us before? No. No? All right. Well, we're in Tampa on Bush Boulevard. That's a picture of our store there. Uh, been there over 30 years, so the company's been around for a long time. We, we deal with air purification, but we're here more or less to talk about is the water purification, okay? Um, you guys familiar with the hardness in the water and stuff like that? I mean, heard a little bit about it. Heard a little bit about that? Cool. I'll get to tell you a little bit more about it. So our company does a lot of different things. Uh, that's pretty much it for this page. Don't do that. You're on video. Well, I don't know. Okay. You're definitely going to do that. How we going? All right, so um, what we're going to do uh, is just perform a couple of quick water tests, okay, and uh, see what we have going on here. Now, the first test I'm going to do is called the precipitation test. Now, when I uh, say the word precipitation, what do you think of? Rain, right? I mean, what, what it actually means is to settle and separate. So it's just like the rain, you know, settling, separating down and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is uh, for this test, we are going to, oh, by the way, we've already got our uh, system set up here, but normally... <laughs> Uh, we will go ahead and, and wash the sink out. We've already uh, placed the pump in here, turned it on, and we're good to go. So this is our mini uh, Aris WC400 water conditioner right here that we have running. And uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of wash these out with this softened water here. Softened water is a natural solvent. You know, it can uh, clean stuff without uh, the use of all the soaps and chemicals and stuff like that. So we're going to wash these out real good. Okay. Now, um, what we're going to do is the first test is, again, called the precipitation test. And what we're going to do is fill these little tubes up to about right here, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and set the uh, unconditioned water, the raw tap water there on the right-hand side, okay? And we're gonna take a little bit of this uh, conditioned water here, about the same amount, and we're gonna go ahead and set that on the left side, okay? So we got the conditioned water here and the raw tap water over here, right? Now, the, the first solution here that we put in is uh, to simply bond together in the water everything that's not water. All the hardness, the calcium and the magnesium and all the stuff that, you know, um, builds up on the glasses and then our hot water heaters and the pipes and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is add 10 drops of this into each. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Do the same here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. So again, all that's going to do is bond together what's in that water that's not water, all the hardness and the stuff floating around there. Now the second solution is simply just a backdrop. All this is going to do is illuminate the water so we can kind of see what's going on. And again, we're going to go ahead with 10 drops of both of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Same over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, that's going to take a minute for it to um, actually precipitate or separate and settle. So we're going to go ahead and set that off to the side for a minute while we perform just a couple of more quick tests. Uh, the next one here, uh, are you, you ever seen one of these before, Mike? Yeah, we saw you had the pool out back, you know, so it's, sure. it's a chlorometer. It basically just takes a sample of chlorine. Now, do um, you guys know why they would put chlorine in the water? All right, it takes care of all the germs. Now, the, the plant... You know, the water plant here in Hillsborough County, they do the best job that they possibly can, you know, with what they have. And chlorine is what they use to protect the water from the plant to your home, okay? Now, a lot of stuff can, um, you know, happen in that trip. So that chlorine will go ahead and protect that. Now, once it gets to your house, though, it's up to you to, if you want to, you know, do anything about that. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and get some of this tap water, and we're just going to fill it up in our chlorometer here, up to that line right there. Okay. And then we are going to add five drops of this pH solution here, just to simply indicate what's uh, what our chlorine level is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead with five drops of this. Uh, one, two, three, four, and I missed the fifth. So five. Okay. Um, set that back off to the side. And this is also going to take just a second here, but not quite as long. We can already see what's starting to happen over here. Okay, but um, now if you had to best match this up. Where would you say that matches up with? It's right there under the two mark. Maybe about a two, yep. two or so, which as you can see is ideal. You know, it mm -hmm. says that that's ideal. The problem is this is a pool test, so it's ideal for pool water, okay? Now you'd never ask Tambri to go get you a drink of water from the pool, would you? No. That just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, you know? So, um, and you can see it's taking just a few more seconds, but it's even climbing from there. So. Um, so yeah, again, the chlorine, that's simply to protect that water from the, the plant to your house. But once it gets here, you know, you'd rather not cook with it and, and uh, run it through the coffee pots and stuff like that. So, all right, well, uh, 
the next test we're going to do is to simply test the hardness level of the water, okay? Now, um, the hardness, again, all, that's all the stuff that builds up on the shower doors and, you know, around the sinks over here. You can see the stains and stuff like that, you know, and that's the hardness that's building up. So what we're going to do, go ahead and get a sample of our uh, tap water here again, okay? Okay, so we have our, uh, our sample size here, and that's going to go right into this little shaker. All right. Now, uh, this particular test is going to take uh, three solutions. The first one is the, uh, this is just going to balance the water, balance the pH in the water, kind of settle it all down, stabilize the water. And it's going to take three drops of this, one, two, and three, okay? So again, that's just going to balance our water. The next one here is a cranberry colored indicator dye, okay? Now, if when I drop this in here, if this water turns blue immediately, that means that we have soft water, okay? Now, if it turns a cranberry red, that means that there's some hardness present in the water. So again, we're going to add three drops of this, one, two, and three. And you can see it's that cranberry grape color there, right? Again, so that, that uh, represents that there is some hardness in this water. Now, the third solution is uh, simply going to tell us how many grains hard this water is, okay? Now, you know, you might not know what grains of hardness is and stuff. I might be speaking a different language here. So just to kind of put it in, in uh, simple terms, you know what a bare aspirin is, right? You know, about sure. that size. That's one grain of hardness per se. So say there's that much calcium and magnesium in one grain, okay? So for every drop of this solution that we put into here is going to represent that much hardness in a gallon of water. So a bare aspirin per gallon of water, okay? Now... On the scale, um, you know, what the uh, Water Quality Association says, that right? Water Quality Association says, is uh, anywhere from zero to three would be moderately hard, okay? Now, once we hit eight drops of this, that's where you kind of hit the wall of hard water, you know, and, you know, you're kind of, you know, want to get water tests done and stuff like that if it's eight or more. Once you hit 10 and a half to 11 grains, that's excessively hard water. And then every grain after that is just exponentially harder, okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll start with those three drops. So one, two, and three. As you can see, our water is still that cranberry color. So there's, you know, we at least have moderately hard water. I'm going to take it up to... Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, our water hasn't changed yet. So we just kind of hit the wall of, you know, hard water, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, Hillsborough County, you know, it's kind of hard water, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, nine, 10, and 11. And again, like I said, guys, 11, uh, that's, that's where we get excessively hard, okay? So now every drop after that is gonna, um, you know, rip, be pretty exponential. So we're going to go with a 12, 13, 14. And you can see right there at 14, it's starting to change color, right? Um, I'm going to go one more just for good measure, okay? So there you go. Now you can really see that blue color coming out. So about 15 grains of hardness per gallon of water, okay? So a one gallon jug, you have about 15 bare aspirin size. Uh, calcium and magnesium tablets in there, you know, so, um, and that's the sort of stuff that we're seeing over here, okay? Um, as you can see, our uh, conditioned water over here, clearly uh, a little bit nicer than the other one, if you agree with that, right? And if you had your choice, which one of those would you rather have running through the pipes of your home and your hot water heater and doing your laundry for you and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. This one here? Mm -hmm. Clearly that's the right choice. Okay. Um, so that's that. But uh, yeah, so about 15 grains hard. Now, um, all right, the next uh, little test that I would like to do, or the next uh, sample, is gonna be our uh, soap retention test, okay? Now, you did wash these, uh, I, I asked you for these right in the beginning here when we came in, but you did wash these here at home, you didn't send them out to be washed, or washed here with your detergent, your washing machine, all that stuff, right? All right, well here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna rinse this out, not to say that it's dirty, but uh, it's only as clean as the water that you clean it with. Okay. Now, um, what we're going to do, we're going to take our rag, we're going to put it right here in this uh, clean wash bowl, and we're going to soak it with some of this uh, conditioned water here. Okay, just kind of let that uh, absorb some of that water there. And then we're going to go ahead and take it, and we're going to wring it out, okay? All right, we'll go ahead and wring that out. We'll hang that there to dry for now. Then what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take that 
and put it into one of our little beakers here, okay? So we're gonna take that uh, ringed out, nice, clean towel that we washed here at home, put it into our beaker, and grab one of these little stoppers here. And what's amazing is that, you know, after that's been washed and, and, um, and everything, look at all that soap that was left in that little towel. Isn't that amazing? You know, we wonder why we have dry skin, you know what I mean? We wake up in the morning, we take a shower, you know, we rinse off with this water that can't get the soap off. And then we get out of the shower and we dry off with our nice clean towel, you know, and that's just adding, you know, fuel to the fire there. And then we slip into our clothes that we just washed at home too, that the soap is still retaining in there. And then we get home at night, we climb in the sheets and, you know, we wake up and do it again tomorrow, you know, and people, you know, wonder why we use so many lotions and, and uh, stuff like that, right? So, amazing or what? Oh yeah. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? All right, um, the next test that I would like to do is the cost analysis, okay? Now this one is pretty cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just dump this back out of here, okay? Get uh, this cleaned up a little bit. Okay, all right, so the next one here is the cost analysis. Now with this test, what we're gonna do is we are going to put 150 milliliters of our conditioned water in this beaker here. So 150 is right about there. Okay. Then we're going to take this one here and we're going to use the raw tap water. Okay. And again, we're going to get about 150. Okay. There we go. About even. Yep. So again, we have our conditioned water here and the tap water here. Okay, now this test is uh, pretty interesting. What we're going to do is take this soap solution, and this is just raw natural soap, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to add three drops of soap solution to each beaker. Now, what I'd like you to think of this as is a scoop of laundry soap, or, or better yet, a dollar a drop, okay? We'll just call it a dollar a drop, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put three drops here one, two, and three. And over here, we're gonna do the same. One, two, and three, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and take our uh, our beakers here and uh, cover those up. All right, now, this is our tap water, correct? And we have three drops of our soap solution in here. We'll go ahead and give that a good shake. Okay, you can see we got some, some soapy looking kind of dingy water, you know. Um, now this over here, this is our conditioned water with the same amount of soap, okay. Watch this, okay. Give it a quick little shake. Wow, look at the difference, you know. So just imagine when you're washing your clothes and, and uh, you know, doing your dishes and stuff. I mean, which would you rather be doing the dishes with, you know. The conditioned water or the tap water, you know. Clearly, this is the right choice again. Now, just for fun, okay, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more. We'll go with uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops. Oh, I got eleven. Okay, you know we got eleven. Go ahead and cap it back off here and just see if we can even come close. You know, obviously this is the, the clear choice. Okay, and you can start to see some of that soap curd and stuff that's building oh, yeah. up on top of there. Just you know, not very cool. Now, what we recommend, by the way, after you do get the conditioner installed, is the first time that you go ahead and do a load of laundry, don't add any soap to it. Don't put any soap in when you, when you and I know it's gonna seem a little weird, but when you get done, I don't know if you have a front end loader or the top, you know, top yeah, loader, the top. the top loader, mm -hmm. but if you were to open that up, you'd see halfway through that there's a whole bunch of soap suds on top, and that's, you know, kind of going back to our, our soap retention test over here. There's so much soap and stuff that's left in these, uh, old clothes that it'll actually wash the clothes for you the first time, which is amazing. And uh, that softened water actually lets that soap react. See, the calcium and magnesium really grabs a hold of everything. It, it absorbs all the soaps and stuff like that, and it doesn't allow them to work like they're supposed to. You know, so that hardness in the water, uh, which we saw is about 15 grains hard, and you know, full of chlorine. But again, now we can really start to see what's going on over here. And this is really what happens with our hot water heaters, you know. Um, eventually, have you ever seen the, the hot water heater? You ever taken the old one out and put a new one in? 
Yeah, there's a lot of buildup and stuff on there. You know what I mean? The hot water heater is like a, a natural precipitation tank. You know what I mean? It sits there and it, it's got water going through it all day and that hardness really builds up in the bottom and eventually you have a, a, a solid like rock at the bottom, you know, and it's almost like it makes it a lot harder to heat that water that's above it. Just imagine taking uh, your stove over here and putting a brick on the, the heating element there and then putting the pot on top of it and how long it would take to heat that water. You know, it takes a lot longer, therefore going through you know, a lot more electricity and a lot more um, you know, uh, energy. So, okay, um, next test here is gonna be our uh, skin test, okay? Now, who uses more lotions out of the two of you? This guy, he does? All right, come on up here, sir, okay? <laughs> All right. Call me lotion. <laughs> now what we have here is a bar of pure ivory soap. Okay, we like right. to use ivory because it's pure soap. Okay, so what we're going to do with your right hand is go ahead and uh, well, actually with both of them lather up like you're getting ready to go into surgery. I okay. mean, just lather those things up, get you a nice good lather going. Okay. All right. Perfect. Now with your left hand, mm -hmm. if you would just go ahead and rinse that with our tap water here. Okay. What do you feel? Kind of squeaky clean, right? Just yeah, like you normally would. Real clean. real clean, okay. I'll go ahead and dry that off for you, yeah, okay? So we we'll get that dried up. Service here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like a uh, service with a smile. Okay, there you go. Uh, now, with the right hand there, we are going to, I was going to say a shoe shine. That wasn't good. <laughs> so, uh, with your right hand, we're going to go ahead and rinse that with our nice conditioned water here, okay? Right. Now, what's that feeling like? You know, it feels. Kind of slimy or oily. Smooth, kind of oily. Smoothy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I get a lot, you know. And what that is. It's like something's left on it. Yeah, what it is is you're actually your natural oils that are left in your hands. Oh, this wow. is the first time that that soap has actually been able to get off of your skin. And you can uh, really start to feel the difference of your natural oils coming out. So, now what I'd like for you to do is, um, we can go ahead and turn back around here so, so your wife can see. Um, now this is the tap water, right? This right. This is the one we rinse with tap water. And this is the one we rinse with conditioned water. Okay. So if you would, just give that hand a lick. Just lick the back of your hand there, okay? Okay. Yeah, it's clean, so. What do you taste? Nothing. Nothing? Skin. Okay. Um, now if you would, give this one a lick. Pretty nasty, isn't it? Yeah, it's like yeah. ivory soap. <laughs> now here. Go ahead, I'll let you rinse it off here so we don't have that feeling anymore. Okay, we'll go ahead and rinse them both off and make them both feel good, okay? <laughs> there you go. Isn't that amazing though? Yeah, you know, that's So all that something. soap, again, that just retains to your skin. And again, when you're showering and stuff, all that stuff stays on you. Just not a good situation. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank sure. you. Pretty amazing. All right, guys. And for my final test is going to be our taste test, okay? I'm going to take these two uh, glasses over here from your nice china cabinet. And um, in this first glass that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take a, a sample of our tap water, okay? And the second one is going to be our nice conditioned water, okay? So, um, if you would, okay, I know that uh, he did the first, shit, which one's which? <laughs> which one is I mean, which one's which? Um, we're going to do this again, okay? So this one is going to be our tap water, okay? And this one is going to be our nice conditioned water, okay? Okay. So the first one I'd like you to do is our conditioned water. Okay, go ahead and give that a swig and kind of wash it around in your mouth a little bit like you at the dentist, okay? What do you think? Very nice? You run your, your tooth across your teeth there, feel nice and smooth, all the you know stuff is gone. Go ahead and give it a wash with that one. No. <laughs> Pretty disgusting, isn't it? So, all right, here, I'll let you go ahead and rinse it with this one. <laughs> Better? Yeah. All right, great. Would you like to try, sir? Sure. All right, so this is our conditioned water, okay? Uh, after it's been through our WC400, give it a wash there, give it a rinse around. Nice and silky smooth mm -hmm. on those two, okay? And give it a rinse with that one there. Whoa. Yeah, big difference, isn't it? All right, go ahead and wash it out with that one so you uh, don't have that nasty taste left in your mouth, okay? A lot better? All right, great. All right, guys, well, uh, that is uh, concludes my test here. So, I mean, we can clearly see that there could be some room for improvement. Would you like to see the solution? Absolutely. Great, all right, well, let me go ahead and show you how that works out. Okay, that's good. So, 